Hi, I'm Junior with Keystone RV Center. Today we're going to be talking about outside kitchens. We've got this Salem Hemisphere right now that we're going to be going over. I'm wearing my lovely Coachman shirt because apparently Steve didn't get the memo on the fact that I need a Hemisphere shirt. So obviously outside kitchen, what I'm looking for, I've got my uh, sink out here. I've got my outside refrigerator. I got my stove. A couple of things to talk about. Your drain plugs on your sink, okay? Anytime you're traveling, they need to be flipped upside down, just like in the ones in the camper. That way we don't build up water. If something gets turned on out here, I want places for that to go. Your outside refrigerator. Now, as far as I'm aware, nobody's putting an RV refrigerator outside. So you do have a temperature set right here on this model with an offsetting. Now, when you get this back to the house, you're going to want to prop this open. What I recommend doing is taking some Velcro straps with some 3M adhesive, putting one right here, one down here, and then you could put either a five gallon or a one gallon paint stick in here to leave a little ventilation to allow that door to just stay propped open a little bit. That way the moisture doesn't build up. The other great thing is if you load this fridge door up during travel, you can use those Velcro straps to keep it shut. Now, as far as your barbecue grill goes, I'm gonna show you the here. Now, underneath, you're going to have a valve much like this, and it will have a little valve on here. Remember, if it's pointing left to right, that means it's closed. If it's following the line, okay, going up and down the line, that means it's open. What you're going to do is just push it together, click it in. The way I'm going to tell you to hook it up, come right onto the barbecue grill first, clip that on, then come down here, have it in the closed position, lock it in and then open it up and now you can use your barbecue grill like normal flip it open turn it on whole nine yards when it's time to pack it up obviously you're going to want this grill cooled down and the easy way put this right back in here so it doesn't get lost to put this grill cover on is if you start at the front and wiggle backwards it's going to work easier. A lot of people try to push it straight down and that doesn't work out the best. So if you come in like that, then come down and attach your clips to it, that's gonna work best. Just quick little tips today on outside kitchens, how we use them and how we like to. Guys, if you have any questions, comment down below. 1-800-232-3279. Uh, Again, that's 1-800-232-3279. Have a great day.